Welcome to Lesson 10 of YPWW. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's lesson text is coming out of Deuteronomy chapter 16 verses 18 through 21. And that reads, Judges and officers, shalt thou make thee in all thy gates, which the Lord thy God giveth thee, throughout thy tribes, and they shall judge the people with just judgment. Thou shalt not rest judgment, thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift, for a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise, and pervert the words of the righteous. That which is altogether just shalt thou follow, that thou mayest live and inherit the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not plant thee a grove of any trees near unto the altar of the Lord thy God, which thou shalt make thee. The topic of today's lesson, Integrity and the Moral Life. The lesson aim says, to show that uprightness is an important feature of the moral life. The memory verse says, that which is altogether just shalt thou follow, that thou mayest live and inherit the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. And that's Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 20, the King James Version. The NIV version of the same verse, follow justice in justice alone, so that you may live and possess the land your God is giving you. The introduction says, Plato, a 4th century BC Greek philosopher, tells the story of a shepherd who finds a ring. This fellow finds this piece of jewelry and he places it on his finger. Unknown to the shepherd, the ring had special powers. If the ring were turned a certain way, the ring made the man invisible. The shepherd would sit among the other shepherds at their monthly meetings. Noteworthy is that the shepherd would play with the ring while he sat among the other shepherds. When he would twist the ring, he became undetectable. Thus, the men would wonder where the shepherd went. The fellow would be present, but they could not see him. Hence, they thought he had simply gone away. The shepherd who found the ring realized that the ornament gave him the power to disappear and reappear at will. Consequently, he devised a plan to embark upon all types of evil and unjust deeds. He became one of the royal messengers. Once inside the court, he raped the queen, killed the king, and stole all their goods. No one could catch him because he had the power to disappear and reappear at will. Plato tells this story to raise the question about character. In short, the story invites us to think about this matter. What would you do if you knew that you could never get caught? This issue raises the question of our integrity. The story assumes that many of us are good only because we do not want to get caught, not because we truly believe that it is right to do right, despite its consequences. It is so important that the type of life we live is consistent with who we say we are. If we profess Christ, it adds something to our witness when our lives are in harmony with our testimony. To guarantee that this is the case, we must make sure that we do not send confusing signals. In short, we must be walking indications that God can keep people from doing evil if he would just trust them. One, therefore, should not underestimate the value of living right regardless of who we are or who we are around. Doing right should be a part of us. Deuteronomy chapter 16 verses 18 through 21 stresses this matter. The discussion says, Deuteronomy 16 verses 18 through 21, casts light on the duty of judges in the biblical community. This text points out that these persons should be impartial when they handle cases. Although this text talks about the proper administration of justice, it brings an important matter into the mainstream conversion, conversation about moral life. These chapters talk about character. The text says, 
that which is altogether just shalt thou follow. Why? The application says, 1. One who has integrity demonstrates holiness to the world and to those over whom God has given him charge. Having integrity positions us to influence others to action. We therefore can sway people because we have the moral authority to do it. The way we live gives power to our words. We simply do not walk and preach. We preach as we walk. We demonstrate holiness and godliness through the way we live. In short, the life we live speaks for us. Number two, one who has integrity gives other people around him or her discernment. When we exhibit integrity in our daily lives, we give the people around us a basis for identifying the move of God. Through our daily conduct, we show everybody how to distinguish the movement of the Lord. While everybody else sees things happening and thinks nothing about them, we can see the move of God in the everyday, ordinary things. We can see God moving all around us. 3. One who has integrity gives other people around him or her doctrine. He or she gives people a set of ideas about right and wrong, good and bad. Through his life, he shows them what they must believe in order to be strong, spiritual human beings. He or she gives out quality, first-rate, efficacious spiritual teaching and gives them good teaching about what they must believe about God. He or she shows them what they must believe about humankind and teaches them what they must believe about human destiny. More importantly, he or she teaches them what they must believe about salvation. Hallelujah! Number four, one who has integrity gives other people around him a sense of discipline. He shows people the meaning of self-control. He shows them how to set goals and how to focus. Through his example, he shows those whom God has given into his charge the meaning of commitment to godly objectives. Through his example, the person who walks in integrity shows people that they must stick with the plan that God gave them for their lives. When we commit to God's plans for our lives, we tell God that we are willing to pay the price. We tell God that we are in it for the long haul. Number five, one who has integrity gives other people around him a sense of duty. He or she shows people what they should do with their lives and gives them clues about what ought to be done in each moment of their lives. He or she shows them that they are under orders to perform. Through his or her example, a person of integrity shows people what is unconditional and what is not subject to external conditions or circumstances. However, Moreover, an integral person shows others what they must do regardless of their inclinations or evaluations of the situation. The Bible says it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. And that's Psalm 92 verse 1. The Bible also says in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And that's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Through, it, through his or her example, a person of integrity shows other people around him that they should talk about the goodness of the Lord always. He or she shows them that regardless of what is going on, they must praise God. The lesson illustration. The revered Dwight L. Moody once told a story about a blind man. In the story, Moody says that a blind man was sitting on a corner of a street during the night. What was strange about the blind man was that he sat on the street corner with a lantern nearby. That is right, a man whose inability to distinguish color, shape, and distance, and to gather information through his eyes, carried a light with him as he sat on the sidewalk one evening. 
Now this situation should seem odd, for if the man had no vision, of what use is a lantern to him? The world remains dark, regardless of the lamp at his side. A passerby noticed the blind man on the sidewalk one night and stopped to talk to him. The passerby wanted to know why a man who could not sense light would carry a lantern. Since the eyes of the blind man did not work, he could never see the light. This is what the passerby was thinking. The passerby asked the blind man, why do you place a lantern beside yourself? The blind man responded, I carry the lamp so that no one will ever stumble over me. The blind man did not want anything about himself to cause people to falter. He did not want to trip up anybody. He wanted to be a blessing to those whom, to whom he came into contact. Like the blind man in the story, we should not want people to stumble over us. Therefore, we should make every attempt to walk in integrity. We should make sure our lives are consistent with our testimony. For when the two mesh, we do not become stumbling blocks to people. So I challenge you to walk in integrity. The questions for today's lesson, you can write them down and then study the scriptures on your own. Question one. How can we as individuals show that we have personal integrity in our private walks with God? Write down your answers. Question two, how can we express integrity while pursuing God's objectives for our lives? Make sure to write down your answers. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.